Hi guys, today we are going to discuss a very important topic of nuclear physics that is Gamow's theory of alpha decay. Before going to discuss Gamow's theory, let's first discuss that why alpha decay happens in the first place. But before that, you should know that what is meant by alpha particle. Well, alpha particle is a helium nucleus and it has two protons and two neutrons. So it has a mass number of four. And now let's discuss what is meant by alpha decay. Alpha decay is a kind of spontaneous radioactive decay process in which a large size nucleus, usually nucleus with mass number greater than 210, spontaneously undergo a decay process which lead to the emission of a alpha particle. Now my question is that why only large size nucleus undergo radioactive decay that is alpha decay process and not small or medium size nucleus? And the answer to my question lies in the nature of the nuclear forces. Basically, nucleus is held together because of two kind of forces. One is nuclear force which is an attractive force and it acts between neutron as well as protons. The other is coulombic force which is a repulsive force and it acts between two protons and it is trying to break apart the nucleus. Now the important thing is that at short distances of around 1 to 3 femtometers, the nuclear forces which are attractive forces are much dominant as compared to the columbic forces. So we can say that in small or medium sized nucleus we have nuclear forces and that's why we get stable nuclear configurations. However, as the size of the nucleus become bigger and bigger and the distance between the nucleons inside the nucleus increases and now in this case the columbic force dominates as compared to the nuclear forces. And this is because the distance between the nucleons start increasing and we know that the nuclear forces are strong forces but they are short range forces. While columbic forces are weak as compared to the nuclear forces but they are long range forces. So the large size nucleus become unstable and in order to get stable it lose some of the number of protons and neutrons and decrease its size. And this is what is happening in the alpha decay process. And this is also the answer to our question that why only large size nucleus undergo alpha decay process. This is the equation for alpha decay where x is the parent nucleus, a is the total number of nucleons, z is the total number of protons, y is the daughter nucleus and helium is the released alpha particle. If we look at different kinds of alpha decay process happening for different kind of nuclei, then we find that the maximum kinetic energy of the alpha particle usually ranges from 4 to 9 mega electron volt. And now there is an amazing puzzle associated with this amount of energy. To understand that puzzle, let's first look at the nuclear potential diagram of any given nuclear configuration. Well, all the particles which are stuck inside the nucleus basically experience some kind of nuclear potential as a result of its interactions and we can approximate the nuclear interaction by this kind of potential which is shown in the figure. And as the alpha particle come out of the scare well potential it experiences the columbic repulsion which is the function of 1 divided by r where r is a radial distance away from the center of the nucleus. Okay. 
ओके एज वी हैव जस्ट डिस्कस दैट द अल्फा पार्टिकल हैव काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ अराउंड फोर टू नाइन मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट हाउ एवर इफ यू मेक अ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ न्यूक्लियर कन्फिग्रेशन एंड वैन वी लुक एट द पोटेंशियल वेल and when we look at the potential well it is found that the different kind of nuclear configurations have maximum height of around 25 to 30 mega electron volt now my question is that how a particle having kinetic energy 4 to 9 mega electron volt can escape the potential barrier of 25 to 30 mega electron volt and the answer to my question is the quantum tunneling because classically we cannot answer to this question because we know that in quantum mechanics if we have a particle with in, with energy less than the potential barrier then it can uh, tr- then it can transmit the potential barrier through quantum tunneling and this is because the wave nature of the particle Now what George Gamow did was he borrowed the idea of the quantum tunneling to the concept of the alpha decay. So he proved that the quantum mechanically that a particle less having less uh, having less energy compared to the potential barrier can escape the potential barrier due to the wave nature of the particle which is the shown which is shown in the figure. So this was our lecture on the Gamow's theory of the alpha decay. Hope you guys like it. See you guys in our next vi- videos. Thank you very much.